Quem é das antigas aqui no canal provavelmente acompanhou a série Zerando The Forest, velho. Foi um negócio que marcou muito a, a minha vida aqui no, na produção de conteúdo no YouTube. E a IGN já tá jogando o Sons of the Forest, né? A, a, no, a continuação do The Forest. Pra quem não lembra, The Forest tem uma baita história pesada, né? Tem um final surpreendente. A gente começa só com um jogo de sobrevivência. Vem o pessoal que vive na tribo, começa a atacar a gente cada vez mais forte. Aí começa a vir umas criaturas meio estranhas e tal, né? E agora o Sons of the Forest já vem com um cenário muito mais é, bem com construído também com mais dinheiro, enfim, então Sons of the Forest promete bastante, o pessoal da IGN gringa já jogou, conseguiu trazer algumas experiências pra gente, uh, o vídeo tá com legendas em português, tá? Então vamos assistir, vamos curtir, porque eu estou bem ansioso, né? E, ó, pra variar aí, ó. Ah, esse é o The Forest, ó. A gente começa na queda do avião, né? E a gente tem o objetivo de achar nosso filho. É da hora que é isso, você não assistiu. Ó, se você não assistiu minha série, eu recomendo que você volte e assista, tá? Mas enfim. Ah, agora a gente tem que salvar um bilionário. <risos> Allowing players who have no intention of progressing the rescue mission to solely focus on building their very own lakeside resort with some friends right away. Ah, você pode chegar e só construir as paradas, tá? And cause chaos with seven of your friends in co-op, but you can still see everything Sons of the Forest. Sete amigos. Single player. The big difference this time, though, is that even when you play solo, you're not alone. Enter Calvin. At the very ah. start of Sons of the Forest, you're introduced to Calvin, an elite soldier who not only survived the helicopter crash that stranded you on the island, but is also very much along for the survival ride as an AI companion. Que isso? Calvin has suffered some major head trauma that's left him unable to speak. His injuries have not, perhaps surprisingly, prevented him from being extremely helpful. Oh, o lindo. O primeiro The Forest ainda é muito bonito. Experience for solo players, Calvin will follow you around and respond to commands issued via a bunch of. Ai, que da hora, velho. On a notepad. He'll take orders to see out your less than desirable busy work, such as chopping down trees and gathering logs. Isso é bom para fazer a gestão, né? My hands on, the value of having an AI companion was immensely noticeable. There was a huge benefit to sending Calvin off to find resources, while my co-op partner and I focused on designing our structure. I'd regularly turn around to find a fresh pile of logs for our disposal, with Calvin already on his merry way to collect more. Ah, que legal! Oh, isso é uma mecânica bem legal, hein, mano? Caraca! But he offers helpful, time-saving resources even when in a group, putting a significant dent in the busy work of a survival game. This affords more time to either sculpt a masterpiece or plow forward on the cannibal killing quest. Calvin has a mind of his own though, well, at least to some degree. He sits down to rest when he gets tired and seeks water when he's thirsty. He'll also become upset if you treat him poorly, which makes him less productive and thus decreases the value as a companion. <laughs> and if you decide you're not interested in having a worker be along for the ride, you have the option to disable Calvin in the most realistic way possible. Shoot him in the head and you'll remove him from your session permanently. <gasps> You're limited to Nossa, pode matar ele. Session. So the dream of a legion of Calvins can't be fulfilled. But the ah. that there are other companions you can find as you progress, each with their own unique AI. During my playtime, I caught a glimpse of Virginia, a mutant with three arms and three legs. She quickly scarpered once I approached her and definitely had ah. But the developers told me that she can eventually be recruited and will become attached to you over time should you be kind to her. They compared her instincts to that of an elusive and independent cat, which stands in opposition to Calvin's. Nossa, que da hora. Então, então eles vão, assim, né, não é só voltar ao jogo, continuar a história, nada disso. Tipo, eles estão colocando umas mecânicas bem inovadoras, né, mano? Ranging from a cluster of cannibals. Cara, que da hora, velho. Each demonstrating their own impressive decision-making abilities. It felt like my enemies were thinking and making active decisions based on not only oh, yeah. my actions, but also their si o foda é isso, os bichos desse jogo são bravos, mano. Particularly in first-person horror games, enemies generally have two modes of behavior, patrol and attack. But in Sons of the Forest, some foes would just be extremely wary and just interested in watching what I do, while others would charge in aggressively only to back down when things didn't go their way. I saw enemies consoling their fallen friends, changing their clothes depending on the weather conditions, and even trying to destroy my newly erected home when my back was turned. 
it was clear to see that the enemy's brains were not only following coded rules, but also adapting their thoughts based on the external influences. The developers explained to me that certain enemies with leadership qualities can influence the decisions of others. And ah, oh, que isso, velho. Os caras estão criando uma, uma inteligência artificial pros, pros inimigos também. Bom, já tinha bastante disso, né? Eles já vinham cada vez mais forte. Quanto mais você expandia sua base, mais você cortava árvores, eles já ficavam mais agressivos, né? Nosso jogo é muito tenso, mano. Ah, ele acabou de falar, a legenda por algum motivo não tá mais, mas ele acabou de falar que vai ter seasons, né? Então vai ter é, as fases do ano. Então, tipo assim, pô, pode ter inverno, outono, e que isso vai influenciar o ambiente. And after that little taste of chaos, I can't wait to see how flexible this system can be. É legal, mano. O bagulho é nervoso, é nervoso mesmo. And it looks better than ever. From the complex density of foliage to the gorgeous rainfall and beautifully lit cave stalactites, amongst the hanging corpses and mutant fetuses, the graphical power on show here rivals the majority of AAA releases. It was a joy to explore without even the slightest hint of repetition in its design. Jogando os troncos na água. Villages and God knows what else in a world that's promised to be four times larger than the original. I can easily see myself getting lost and then sidetracked in the wilderness for hours on end. But at its core, Sons of the Forest is a survival game. And so when you're not É um jogo de sobrevivência, né? The construction tools have been significantly overhauled for the sequel. Gone are the floating blue ghost building blocks, replaced by user-friendly, realistic presentation of wilderness carpentry. Instructions are more literal and actions are contextual. Instead of just loading resources into a gun. Oh, que da hora, né, vi? Esse negócio de, de estações é bem legal, né? Estações do ano. Place logs and sticks in the direction that you'd like. Oh. For a complete customization of your structure instead of following a predetermined design. My partner, Calvin, and I immediately set to work on building a lakeside domicile of our own. And what began as a traditional design immediately. Mano, o sistema, a ordem para ele. Mano, muito legal, velho. Muito legal, mano. Replacement by hand. And thus the structural points present not only a decision, but an opportunity for expression. I was informed that the option of the more traditional blueprint oh. is still there for the purists, but I found the DIY construction far more appealing than the IKEA approach. Then, of course, no, awesome. Muito legal. a story to follow. From the teases in the trailers, this is implied to be bigger and perhaps even crazier than the original, and hopefully continues directly on from the forest's cliffhanger. But amongst the time spent constructing and fighting off hordes of cannibals, I didn't really get a sense of how the story was going to go beyond the initial premise. It did feel very familiar to the story of the forest though, which I guess makes sense in the term of dropping players right into the action. But I'd be lying if I said I didn't have concerns that it could potentially retread old ground. My hope is this simply serves as a jumping Nossa, mano, o jogo tá parecendo muito legal, velho. Caraca, mano. The first game that still feels cohesive. But time will tell once I get my hands on the full game and manage to pull myself away from building a replica of the Ewok village. Oh, mesma mecânica do da mochilinha. Sons of the Forest appears to evolve and build on every aspect of its predecessor with a focused goal of realism and developing a flexible ecosystem. And it feels like the building blocks are there. Cara, meteu um sushi ali direto do rio, mano. It's killer feature is the addition of impressively sophisticated and smarter AI enemies and companions that could not only provide a huge leap forward for the series, but the survival game genre as a whole. <laughs> o co de jogo é muito bom, mano. Nossa, mano, bom demais, bom demais, tô hypado, não sei se vocês já chegaram a, a, a ver o, o... a minha série, se não... Cola pra assistir, porque é um dos trabalhos que eu, que eu tenho bastante orgulho de ter feito aqui no YouTube. Tem até hoje, só procurar aí, Pativ The Forest, que você acha. Mais uma vez, muito obrigado, gostou do vídeo, deixa o like, deixa os seus comentários aí que vocês acharam do jogo, se vocês jogaram o primeiro, né, que eu imagino que sim. Tamo junto, um beijo, é nóis, até a próxima e tchau.